Now, thousands of people have been queuing to see the Gromit exhibition, which opened in Bristol today. By the time the doors shut, just over oh, an hour ago, more than 3,000 people have been to see Bristol's favourite canine. Yes, have a look at this. This was the scene around four o'clock this afternoon when the crowd showed no sign of diminishing. It's the first time all 80 sculptures have been on show together, plus actually an unseen secret grommet as well. Ali Vows has spent the day monitoring the queue. Gromit fever has hit Bristol once again. Even on a school and work day, the crowds have been just extraordinary. This was how it looked just after seven this morning. The first person arrived at six. As the day went on, the queue stretched round the block and beyond. Yeah. How long have you all been waiting? They said it's a bit like the Blitz spirit. <laughs> everyone's coming around selling cakes and coffee. <laughs> just arrived. We didn't expect it to be quite this long. My goodness me, we are absolutely unprecedented response to our greatest dog show on earth. Unbelievable the number of people and how far they've travelled. People from Carmarthen, people from Plymouth, people from Derby. It's just extraordinary. It seems everyone wants to see the Aardman animation dog for one last time. And despite a wait for some of up to an hour and a half, nobody seemed to mind. I love them. <laughs> awesome. All summer, thousands of people have been going on the Gromit Trail. Many have made it a mission to see every single one. I think you've seen all the Gromits. There are 80. Well, I'm afraid you might have missed this one. He's number 81. He's been specially commissioned for this exhibition. And it's the first time he's been on view. As well as the locals loving it, the Gromits have attracted visitors from around the country and indeed the world. Hotels in the city have reported record business and other attractions have seen visitor numbers up. It's too early to calculate the economic effect, but the publicity alone has been worth it. If you could pray for something to happen, then you'd pray for something like Gromit Unleashed, because this has put Bristol on the national stage without doubt. I mean, everybody's talking about Bristol. Of course, the main aim has been to raise money for the Bristol Children's Hospital. And if the interest is anything to go by, it could exceed all expectations. The exhibition runs until Sunday, but be prepared to be patient. It could be quite a wait. Ali Vowles, BBC Points West, Bristol. Oh, that little faces. Well, tonight there's a private reception at the exhibition. And joining us now from there is the creator of Wallace and Gromit, Nick Park. Nick, thank you for joining us. And how exciting just That's for pleasure. you to have 81 Gromits around you. I know. Well, it's, it's incredible. See, I'm used to seeing Gromit this big, so it, <laughs> you know, it's quite overwhelming. And you did you know, actually go on the trail as well, didn't you? I understand you even went on it in disguise. Is that right? Uh, well, I thought I thought I would have to go out wearing uh, a, a false beard, but uh, you know it was all about the grommets, really. So I I, I wasn't really recognised that much, which was really it's nice to be anonymous, but have your work out there mm. and you know being enjoyed by everybody. Everyone I saw, Nick, created its own little traffic jam around it. It was amazing. Well, what is it about that creature which is so lovable? Is it the length of the legs? Is it the floppy oh. ears? What is it? Oh, it, it's very hard. It's very hard for me to, to say, really. Uh, but I've been astounded. You know, just by the amount of love that people have for Gromit has been expressed in so many ways. Um, I think it's to do with his eyebrows and his expression. His very like human expression, and yet he's a dog at the same time. It's true because I'm sure you work very hard on mm. those all the time in terms of the mm. micro expressions as well. Some of them are boss-eyed, some of them <laughs> looking one way, some of them the other. Um, and also, it must be quite overwhelming, the lengths people have been to, to come to Bristol to see them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes. I, I've been constantly overwhelmed by different stories of people, you know, coming from uh, Japan, China, you know, Sweden, <laughs> where, all sorts of places, uh, you know, to see them from London and people from up north where I'm from. You know, so many people have been, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I have to pinch myself. And is it this the last chance to see them all together, Nick? Um, I think this is before they're all auctioned off on, a, on I think, uh, October the 4th. But uh, this, they're all here, you know, in the old Habitat building. 
and uh, it's ama and there's many more as well. There are more grommets here than have been on the trail as well. The, oh, I thought there was one more. There's more than one more, is there? Uh, I think I, I believe there's more than one more. Yeah, oh. I may have Ooh, got that's a scoop. Too. That's a scoop. We'll <laughs> have that. <laughs> and and we're, we're very interested to know what your favourite one is. Can you now reveal? Um, well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like talking about your favourite film. You know, uh, different. Uh, one of my favourites is right here, the Simon Tofield. You know, who, who, draw, who draws Simon's cat? Right. On, um, the cartoon. Yeah. It's covered in little drawings of, of cats. Fantastic. Oh, gorgeous. Well, we're really looking forward to the auction. Of course, some of the gorillas last year. One of them went for twenty-three thousand. So who knows what will mm. happen? Good luck with that, and thank you for joining us, Nick. Mm. Thank you. Thank, Take thanks care. very much. Bye, bye. Nick Park. That's all. Daddy of them all, I suppose. He is, yeah. Mm. It's fantastic. Isn't that gorgeous, all of them?